Oh. Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 29 of the Remaking Door series. Today is going to be part 3 of our Seek Chase uh, little segment of the series. And it will be us implementing Seek's eyes into the room before the Seek Chase. So, I have all 5 different types of hallways um, that we can generate uh, in Workspace. And if you go ahead and look into any of them, you can see now there's Seek's eyes placed all around in each of them. In this one... And this one, not here. I just, you know, did a little bit. You guys can do more in this one and in this one. But if you look inside of each of the hallways, there's a new folder called eyes. So these will hold all of the mod, all of the seek eye models in this folder. And then if you go ahead and look, you could see um, all the different stuff in all of these, like all of the different like things inside of the eyes. But that's very key. Make sure you're using these ones or you just know like what everything is called because we're going to be needing to access it in the script. So once you have that, again, this will be updated with the uh, doors kit. We're going to throw these back inside of replicated storage, inside of possible hallways. And we are going to go inside of our generation script. The first thing we need to do is we need to hide all of these. When we generate a room, hide every single one, like all the eyes. We don't want them to just generate on every room. So to do this... We are going to go to generate room and we are going to hide all of them right here. <clears throat> so we're going to say for I, I in pairs, um, cloned room dot eyes colon get children again, eyes, oops, <clears throat> again, eyes is that folder that's holding all of our seek eyes. So we're getting all of the children in it, meaning all of these. And what we're going to say, we're going to say if I dot class name equal equals model, then so we're making sure that it is actually a model because all of these are models, then um, then we're going to say for I uh, part in pairs, I colon get children do. So now we're getting everything inside of the actual model. So all three of these. We're going to say part dot transparency oops, equals one. But then we also need for that I right there. So we're going to say um, <clears throat> if part dot name equal equals I, then local decal equals I, I mean, not I part colon find first child decal if decal then decal dot transparency equals one so let's go ahead and hit run and see if these uh if all of the eyes are now hidden okay looks like we're already running into an error um eyes is not a valid member of model oh because oh, okay because cloned, we're not, we accidentally did clone door. It should be cloned room. There we go. All right, now let's hit run. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's take a look. So we have the start room. We have this room. No eyes. No eyes anymore. No eyes, no eyes, no eyes. Good. Awesome. Great. So now we need to actually enable them in the room before the seek chase. So to do this, um, let me see here. So preview room, preview room not entrance. Not, okay. All right. Right before we set the preview room to the to the to the seat corridor, we're going to make some changes. So we're gonna say we're, we actually can copy this exact code up here. So we're going to go back up to, uh, where is it? Right here for I, so we copy this exact code. And then when we come down here and right here, we're going to paste it, but we're going to change cloned room to pre room. And then we are going to send instead of the transparency to one, change the transparency to zero so it's actually visible so now if we hit run <clears throat> let's 
go so here's the seat corridor so the room before it should have eyes in it so let's see so we're going through the rooms we're going through the rooms right 24 25 26 27 28 and this room the next room should have eyes in it and as you can see it has eyes but uh there is a problem because it is what is this thing part what the hell is this thing i don't know i don't know what that is but it, that's actually that, that should be an easy fix um we can either just remove it or uh you know what let's just remove it so we'll say we'll come down to here when we generate our rooms and we'll say else if part dot name and the name is that is what it's part equal equals part then part colon destroy Let's see if that uh fix it fixes it so come over here in this room there should be eyes let's go ahead and take a look boom and no more uh of those stupid of that stupid part but as you can see now the um the the eye spawn in right and then right after it is the actual seek chase so i want to go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in the actual game so we're gonna hit play so i can look at this in the actual game all right hold up drag my character there we go all the way over to here put us in this room All right. so 27 oh shit hold up So room 28 and now is it next room is it this yeah so as you can see now we have eyes that spawn in uh, when it's the room before the seek chase and then oh we have to unlock this and then you know as you can see the next room is the actual seek chase so we go to the end here and uh triggers the seek chase which we haven't fully coded yet so we haven't fully coded that yet but we are soon um in the next episode we're gonna start coding it i just wanted to i saw i saw a couple comments like oh how do i get eyes to appear before the actual room and this is how you do it this was a quick episode just wanted to get it out because it doesn't take that much uh you know to make but uh next doors episode we will definitely definitely be starting to code the actual chase so that is it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave those in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe share all that good stuff that you do at the end of the videos if you have any friends that want to get into roblox game development direct them to this channel i upload almost every single day so uh yeah um and that's it and as always i will see you guys in the next one